Hey, we're at Clay High School, and now we're going to see the Academy of Criminal Justice. Let's go in and talk to some of the teachers and students of this program. All right, we're in the criminal justice program, and they have several programs that all work together. And today, we're going to talk to one of the instructors, Mr. Harris, for a few minutes. Mr. Harris, first of all, a fantastic program that you have here. Tell us uh, in Clay County a little bit about the program. Well, we start here with the ninth graders. Uh, they get a basic understanding of law enforcement and operations, and as they grow, they, they either exposed to more opportunities, and you'll talk to Mr. Cole about some of those, but then when they're seniors, we offer them, well, they, they earn two different certificates. One is a private security guard, the other is a 911 telecommunicator. When they're done, they can, they'll be certified dispatchers and can go anywhere along the state of Florida to work as a dispatcher for any agency they want. Great. What was your background? I was with the Clay County Sheriff's Office uh, for 10 years, and prior to that, I was in Brevard County. I'm also a uh, captain in the Army National Guard and the Military Police Unit. All right, Clay County, we have instructors here that have a very lengthy background in all the programs, and so we're excited about Mr. Harris, his program. We'll meet Mr. Cole in just a second, but we've got two students here. We're going to let them introduce themselves. Come on in, students. Hi. Uh, who do we got? Hi, I'm Melissa Pruitt. I'm Colin Dumas. I'm with the Criminal Justice um, 4 Academy and um, 911 Dispatch as well. All right, hey, students, good to have you here. I know this is exciting. How many years have you been in the program? Um, all four. four all four well. years, all four years. Okay, so you've got a lot of experience. So if you could mention something to incoming students, incoming ninth graders, the Clay High School and the Criminal Justice Program, what would you say? Um, I tell them that it's very different from anything else I've ever done, like any other programs I've done. Uh, we kind of all grew up together through high school, mm -hmm. like the four years, so we've all matured together, and it's been, like, it's been amazing. It's been really fun. We all are kind of like a family, and um, I've actually learned a lot from this academy, and it's helped me grow up a lot. All right, what would you say? Um, it helped me find out the career I want to go into. Um, I wanted to join the military like Mr. Harris now. It doesn't just help with criminal, um, as an overall law enforcement aspect. It helps you just find what you want to do with your life as well. All right. So they're giving you an idea, Clay County, about how this can help you for your future. I want to also mention, before we get with Mr. Cole here, this is a National Career Academy Coalition model program here in Clay County. Hey, Clay County, we just saw part of the program, but that's not all. We've got another part that works here at the Criminal Justice Academy, and in charge of that program is Mr. Alan Cole. Mr. Cole, first of all, glad to have you. Thank you very and much. Thank, thank you for you. what you do. You. Tell us about the program and your involvement. So I handle uh, CJ2, which is the law enforcement uh, part of the program, and CJ3, which is the criminal investigations and crime scene management course. So in CJ2, students get to actually take some of the same courses that police officers take in the recruit class. Everything from firearms, defensive tactics, felony traffic stops, writing a traffic ticket, they get all that in CJ2. In CJ3, they get to know how to process a crime scene, and they also know how to conduct criminal investigations. Towards the end of the year, we work with our other teachers in our academy, and we do a investigation on the Great Gatsby. While they're reading Great Gatsby in the English class, we have the, our students develop a criminal investigation for violation of the Volstead Act and develop a search warrant. So we integrate a lot with our other academic teachers in the academy. i tell you what, I don't know about Clay County, but I'm interested in getting involved in the program here and all that. <laughs> That's pretty cool stuff. And we got two of your students. Uh, come on in, students, uh, part of the program. Tell us your name and how long you've been a part of the program. Uh, I'm Brian Chapman. I've been a part of the program for three years. I'm Victoria Santiago. I've been in the program for two years. All right, Mr. Cole just gave us a rundown about the program. Tell us some of the hands-on activities that you two have, have participated in while you've been in the program. Um, last year, I know that we did a like traffic stop citations, like we learned how to do a proper uh, traffic stop. We've been doing a sh shooting simulator where we've been learning how to do uh, hands-on with guns and safe safety with shooting. This year, we've been doing a lot of tickets, practicing giving out tickets in the parking lots, checking for stickers, the decals to make sure the students are parking where they're supposed to be parking. All right, Mr. Cole tells me that you two have a pretty good shooting skill. Mr. Cole, why don't you tell us about these two? Yeah, so both students every year we have a firearms qualification. Our standards, uh, state standards require us to ha cover firearm safety and qualification. So we set up a qualification course, just like if you were a law enforcement officer, um, and these are two of our, our top shooters. They competed 
with over 100 students and they came out in the top four uh, shooting. Two great programs, Clay High School, Clay County, need to check them out. Thanks so much uh, for the program and we appreciate the CTE program here in Clay County.